developing now. It's school as usual this morning for students at Oak Hills High School after a social media threat forced district officials to shut down the campus. Last night, Oak Hill Superintendent Jeff Brandt confirmed to WCPO 9 News that the threat had been made, but it turned out not to be viable. That was determined after an investigation by Green Township Police and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. Brandt also says today will be a normal school day with extra police presence as a precaution. Wilmington City Schools will welcome students back this morning after closing yesterday because of a security concern. The school district superintendent says there will be an increased police presence as a safety precaution. The Wilmington Police Department is continuing to investigate that security threat. There's no word right now on any arrest. Firefighters in Claremont County are working to determine what caused a late night house fire in Batavia. That fire started just after 9 o'clock on Vista Lake Drive. Flames heavily damaged the two story house with parts of it appearing to have collapsed. There's no word yet on whether anyone was inside or if there were any injuries. We'll bring you any new updates the moment we learn them. Time right now, 634 and happening today. Free food and a little education for those in need. Our Ali Kramer is live this morning in Carthage with everything you need to know about the resources available today. Hey, Ali. Hey, good morning, Kristen. I think a lot of people might be waking up this morning thinking, okay, what do I have to get out of the freezer tonight to make for dinner? Okay, what's in the fridge that's going to go bad, so I have to cook it today, right? We're always kind of thinking and planning, and uh, that's why there's a great resource today to learn, okay, how can you avoid overbuying? How can you save money at the grocery store? And they're giving away some free meals. So this morning, outside the Hamilton County Fairgrounds, we're joined by Tony Staubach. Tony, you're with Hamilton County Resource. Tell me a little bit about what the... Uh, what this actually is. Yeah, so again, I'm Tony Staubach with Hamilton County Resource. I'm our food waste diversion coordinator. So I work with our Wasted Food Stops With Us campaign. And so today's event is um, a partnership between us uh, with Hamilton County Resource, Food for the Soul, Last Mile Food Rescue, Free Store Food Bank, OSU Extension, and the Cincinnati Health Department and Valley Interfaith to bring some fresh local recovered food to people in this community here in Carthage and Hartwell. So. Um, roughly 10% of our community is um, food insecure, and so we're in an area where people lack access to adequate um, nutritious food, and we want to make sure we can fill that gap. So where does this food come from? You told me it's it's recovered food. I mean, this yeah. is food that would otherwise go to waste, right? Yeah, so the first place the food comes from is the USDA buying program. So Free Store Food Bank accesses a lot of food that's surplus from farms. But uh, as you can imagine, with our uh, financial crisis going on, it's more and more difficult to access that food. So we're getting more and more food from our partners at grocery stores, at restaurants who are sending their surplus food to these food recovery partners who then up cycle it and turn it into products people can eat. Okay, perfect. What if they want to come here today? What do they need to know? Yeah, so we're going to be distributing food from 10 to 12 here at the Hamilton County Fairgrounds. You can come in on the Vine Street entrance here at 7700 Vine Street and just drive down the hill. Uh, we will ask a little verification information just to find out who's here, but nobody's getting turned away. And you can learn how to uh, cook, how to store, how to preserve food from us at Hamilton County Resource, from our partners at OSU Extension, and from Cincinnati Health Department. Okay, this is wonderful. Tony, thanks for getting up yes, so early with you. us this morning. We greatly appreciate it. I have all of that information if you missed any of it on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. Allie, thank you. Testimony continues today in the trial of Pike County Massacre suspect George Wagner IV that follows a day of gruesome details on just how eight members of the Roden family were killed. A coroner told jurors yesterday that Christopher Roden Sr. was shot nine times and any of those gunshot wounds could have killed him. Chris was the first of eight Roden family members prosecutors say George Wagner IV, his father and his brother killed. At times, Roden family members had to leave the courtroom as prosecutors showed autopsy pictures. You can watch that trial live on your favorite streaming service. Just download the WCPO 9 News app. We will continue to stream the trial daily until that jury reaches a verdict. A street bordering the University of Cincinnati could soon have a fitting new name. The Cincinnati City Council will vote to rename Calhoun Street as Oscar Robertson Way. The basketball legend played for the Bearcats and spent 10 years with the Cincinnati Royals, winning the NBA's MVP award back in 1964. His number 12 is retired by the Bearcats. If approved, the name change would take effect next year. 
Happening today, you'll run into road closures at the banks as an annual fall festival returns this weekend. Raven's back with a closer look at this year's Kroger Wellness Festival and the traffic mess you could see. Always watching out for us with the traffic. Yes, indeed. Hey, good morning. Well, starting at 9 this morning, the Cincinnati Police Department will be closing 2nd Street between Elm Street and Marion Spencer Way, Ray Street south of 3rd, and Rosa Park Street south of 3rd as well. Freedom Way, Marion Spencer Way, and Theodore Berry Way are already closed. Those closed yesterday and they'll stay that way until Sunday for the Kroger Wellness Festival. It's a free festival, in case you didn't know, hosted by the Cincinnati Grocery Giant, focused on healthy food and nutrition products, along with the importance of being healthy and safe. There will also be food trucks, live music, cooking demonstrations, and family-friendly entertainment during the two-day event. It starts on Friday morning with a bag-off competition between Kroger Associates. On Saturday, the Eli Young Band plays a free concert and country star Carrie Underwood will host a 30 minute cardio workout that's open to the public and parking garages and the banks will be open and can be accessed along the Freedom Way and Marion Way. Drivers are reminded to use caution around the event site and seek alternate routes if possible. Kristen. Raven, thanks. World leaders fully reconvening in person for the UN General Assembly for the first time since the pandemic began. What President Biden is expected to say later this morning. I'm John Mattery. He says credit card rates keep going up and up. More and more people are falling into what's called the credit card trap, unable to pay off their monthly balances. How to protect yourself coming up. We've made it to midweek, so that means we're already looking ahead to that weekend forecast. It will be much more on the normal side. Only some small rain chances for Sunday's outlook. But what is not normal is today's forecast. Way warm uh, with heat index around 95 but the crash in temperatures and why it's happening. It's ahead in your nine first warning forecast. Come into our lawn and garden center at Jamie's Landscaping and you'll find everything you need from mulch, fertilizer, and one of the best selections of natural stone. Jamie's Landscaping has you covered. Time right now, 6.43. Today, President Joe Biden will address the U.N. General Assembly. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says the president will condemn Russia's war with Ukraine. He will also call on world leaders to support Ukraine's efforts to fight back. Today, the Federal Reserve is expected to announce a third consecutive interest rate increase of three quarters of a percent. That would bring rates to their highest level in 14 years. Economists will also pay close attention to Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's comments after the announcement. A 14-year-old charged with murder is scheduled to go before a judge today. We are not naming that suspect because he's a minor. He's accused of shooting 15-year-old Sean Lewis on the corner of Main and Orchard Street in Over the Rhine Friday night. Paying with credit cards is convenient and you can spread out your payments, but rising interest rates are making those credit cards dangerous these days. Alicia Turner says buying food for her family Make sure they're in the bag. is getting more and more expensive every week. It's very hard to be able to purchase what you're trying to purchase. With grocery inflation well over 10 percent, she's putting more charges on to. Yeah credit card. Inflation and the end of stimulus checks mean many consumers are putting more purchases onto their credit cards right now. But it's at the same time rates are shooting up with the average credit card interest rate now over 18 percent according to bankrate.com. As card rates approach 20 percent, financial experts say it's easy to fall into what's called the credit card trap. That's where you don't have enough money in your bank account to pay even half your balance each month. And that balance gets bigger and bigger all the time. What could have took you maybe five years to pay something off may take you eight or nine or ten. Suzanne Powell is a financial advisor and author. She says at 18 percent interest and carrying a balance on your card, a vacation or big screen TV can cost you a lot more than you ever dreamed. They pretty much pay double. She suggests if you're falling into the credit card trap, try to pay down your balance, starting with the highest rate credit card. Look for a 0% balance transfer card if you qualify and pay with cash or debit card, not a credit card when possible. Alicia Turner's trying not to rack up big credit card bills, but inflation's making it difficult. You have to work twice as hard for your income. Credit card rates are predicted to rise even further in the coming weeks, so be careful how often you say charge it so you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, 3 CPO 9 News. John always has good information, and you guys have plenty of good news this yeah. morning for us as well. Yeah, no crashes to you.